If for any reason your Facebook Marketplace account was locked or suspended, do not worry because in this video, I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick which you haven't seen or heard anywhere before that will allow you to log back into your Facebook Marketplace account under your same Facebook account and you can do it right away without too much hassle. Quick intro and let's begin. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Iran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a cool trick to get back into your Facebook Marketplace accounts. Now, dropshipping on the Facebook Marketplace has become really popular recently and every dropshipper who has tried it has seen significant sales and profits, especially for anyone residing in the US. But just like any other selling channel, and any other place where we will try dropshipping on every now and then there are temporary account suspensions which we have to learn how to overcome just like ebay and even on shopify and other selling platforms so same goes for the facebook marketplace we may get temporary account suspensions but until then we do not want to stay out of our facebook marketplace accounts and this is exactly how you're going to do it it's a neat little trick or even bug if you will and it will simply do exactly what I told you. You'll be able to log back into your Facebook Marketplace Live account. Right before I start with it, if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the kind of cool content that we're giving you guys along with so many other things. So hit that subscribe button and let's begin with this video. Okay, so I'm going to show you the mobile view. First thing we're going to do is click on Facebook. Then we're going to go into the Facebook Marketplace. As you can see, they're currently reviewing a request to get unsuspended again. And that simply comes with clicking on an appeal link and there is nothing that we can write or photos that we can add or anything. It's just simply click to make an appeal and then we'll get this screen when trying to enter the Facebook marketplace. We're reviewing your request and that's where it ends. So here's the trick. As you can see, I cannot log into the Facebook marketplace with this account. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide down the menu from the top and I'm going to enable airplane mode. Now my internet connection is turned off. I'm going to turn on Facebook using the offline mode. As you can see, the Facebook right now is offline. Now I'm going to click on Marketplace. As you can see, something went wrong. Marketplace is unavailable right now. Now I'm going to click on my commerce profile on the top right. Now once here, I'm going to disable the airplane mode and connect back to the internet. Now here's my commerce profile. And as you can see, it works. Here are my listings. I can see them again. I can even delete listings like the one I just deleted. I can view my listings. Here's one of the listings that I had on the marketplace or that I still have. Here are my active orders. The ones that I ship and the ones that I didn't ship yet. You can even add tracking numbers as you can see here. Now, let me just pause this for a second because this is really important. If you have orders that you did not ship out yet and your Facebook Marketplace account got suspended, you won't be able to go back inside and add a tracking number. But with this neat little trick, you will be able to. And why is this important? Because once you add tracking information and the package gets delivered to your buyer, a couple of days after that, Facebook will release the payment and send it to your bank account so you will get paid for that order. And this is one way to get out of it. So add tracking information with this method. Now let's move on. Okay, so I marked it as shipped. Now here's my pending balance. So as you can see, I have a pending balance, which Facebook did not pay me yet because either I didn't ship out those orders yet or I shipped them out, but not a couple of days has passed since the buyer has gotten the order. And if for any reason you did not or will not provide tracking information or your tracking information is not USPS or UPS or FedEx, Facebook won't be able to track it. So only two weeks up to one month after sending the product out and the customer didn't complain that he didn't get the item, only then you will get paid. But nobody wants to get paid one month after receiving the payment. That's why we want to add tracking numbers. So in order to relieve that pending balance, what we want to do once again is go to our order screen using the trick that I showed you guys and add as much tracking information as possible for your orders. Here, as you can see, the insights also works. You can also go to your inbox, read your customers' messages and write back to them, of course. 
so you can keep up with your customer service even while you're locked out of the Facebook marketplace. And you can even view listings on the Facebook marketplace as you can see over here. Unfortunately, you cannot buy things and you'll see mostly sponsored ads, but you can still view listings on the Facebook marketplace, which is still kind of nice. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Here's a couple of more tips that you guys need to know. If you want the appeal session to work faster, what you want to do is go to your Facebook marketplace account like I showed you guys, delete all of the listings that you have on your Facebook marketplace store, Facebook won't allow you to delete the listings that you have sold, but unsold listings you can delete. So go ahead and do that. And of course, go to your order screen and update tracking on all of your orders. Next, see if you have any unanswered customer messages and answer each and every one of your customers and then go ahead and try to make an appeal. Now, in most cases, it may just be a verification suspension, but you still want your account to look as good as possible, that you're adding tracking to all of your orders and that you're answering all of your customers. And one more quick tip before we wrap up this video, Facebook Marketplace also limits new seller accounts. Now, this may be familiar from eBay, limiting new seller accounts, telling them you can only add this and this much listings in, in this much of an amount in the beginning and slowly work your way up. Facebook is doing the exact same thing. Let me show you this message that they sent me. Here we go. Limit reached. Because you're new to the marketplace, there is a temporary limit on how much you can list and message. We do this to help build a better community for buyers and sellers. So that's absolutely fine. I have no problem with that. We know how bumpy the road can be at the start and we have no problem with that. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on what the exact limits are and what we can get and additional tips and tricks for dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. You will see it here before you see it anywhere else. So once again, I remind you guys, hit that subscribe button, enable those notifications, and you will be one of the early birds to really take advantage of this wonderful, wonderful and profitable marketplace. Thank you for watching. See you in the future videos.